Hello, everyone, and welcome back to my channel, Tomcat Stitchery. I'm Whitney, here with Jenny. Hello, everyone. <laughs> we are in Precious uh, September, which is our Precious Fabric Challenge Month. And if you don't know what that is, I will leave a link to the original video down below. But we're running a challenge on Instagram about encouraging people to sew up those precious fabrics that are in your stash. And Jenny, as a coming back to garment sewing, okay. yes, has made up uh, four things. And um, we're going to talk you through what she has made this month. So I'm going to just kind of stand over here and let Jenny take it away. Yes, and thanks thanks everyone for um, letting me have the channel takeover. And I'm really nervous, so if you just hit that like button right away, that'll make me feel so much better. <laughs> and if you aren't a subscriber to Tomcat History, please make sure you subscribe because we have so much stuff coming up and we're excited to share with you. So like Whitney said, I'm Jenny. Uh, Whitney and I have been friends for a very long time since our babies were kindergartners and now they're um, of the legal voting age in the yeah. United States. Yes. So we've been hanging out mm -hmm. for a long time. And um, I've been watching Whitney grow and every now and then I'm like, could you make me this? Could you make me that? And she would say, no, you can make it. <laughs> uh, so finally, I have been bitten by the sewing bug. And it's hard not to when you're surrounded by a really talented teacher and amazing fabrics. So I um, used to be, I, I, I'm a craft sewer. I have so much share of pillows. I have so much share of some Halloween costumes, some decorations for the kids' preschool and things like that. And once upon a time, I even sewed a garment for 4-H. And I'm very proud to say that I was a county winner. Um, so if you remember the 80s, <laughs> just just close your eyes and imagine what I could have I've made. I couldn't find the picture. Uh, but Whitney and I started traveling together this year, and it has been so hard to say no to some of these beautiful things, even though I don't really know how to sew a garment properly. Um, I've had Whitney to uh, help me. So one of the precious fabrics that I, everything you see here has been a precious fabric to me and I'm excited to share it with you. The first one that I picked up was we were at a sewing conference in Puyallup, Washington, and I got caught, my eyes caught this beautiful silk fabric here. I'm gonna bring her over here. It's a burnout silk and it's got this uh, textured silk around the collar. Noir. Uh, silk Noir. Silk Noir, she mm -hmm. says. See, this is why she's the teacher. <laughs> and I said, this is amazing. And it came with a little kit to just make a little wrap. And I said, will you make this for me? She says, no. <laughs> you will make this. So my very first sewing project was this really expensive piece of silk. And um, this is like kind of embarrassingly simple, but it's just three rectangles sewn together with a collar. And that just gave me the confidence to jump in and say, okay, I'm ready. And as you can see, my style is a little different than Whitney's. I'm more of a classic bohemian style if you had to put a label on it. So I was really excited to wear this to concerts this summer as a top layer. And it just feels so, so good. And very Stevie Nicks. Very Stevie Nicks. <laughs> so um, I'm really proud of this one. And there wasn't really a pattern for that. It was more of just directions of cut a piece of fabric and sew it along this line and you're good to go. Yeah. Did you do French seams on this? I did do French seams. Yes, seams. you did. So do that is what I learned on that mm -hmm. project. Yeah. So then I had a little bit more uh, confidence. confidence. Yes. yes, confidence. And I was able to dig into some precious to me fabric. Now these two fabrics, this, this purple and this green, um, were gifted to me from a friend who visited her family in India and she brought these fabrics back for me uh, probably two years ago. And you guys, yeah. if you're longtime watchers, you've seen these on the channel and it was going to be a Trini dress and it was going to be that, it was going to be that. And it just kind of stayed folded up. And so when I saw a, a, a photo of a dress, I sent it over to Whitney and I said, I think this could be the dress. And she said, I know the perfect pr pattern for this. So this is the deer and doe. Myosotis. Myosotis. <laughs> I'm a scientist. And so I keep on wanting to say meiosis. Uh, it's my, the myosotis. And this garment uh, was challenging for me because this was the first thing that I had to put sleeves on. Mm -hmm. um, I had to learn gathering. Mm -hmm. 
I did this band neckline mm -hmm. collar, which wasn't as hard as I thought it was going to be. Uh -huh. But like I said, I've got a really, really good teacher here helping me. And you did a button band, the uh, partial button band down the front. Yeah. 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 So she did buttons and buttonholes too. Now uh -huh. this garment, uh, the way that it feels is it's really nice and flowy and loose. And um, I wore this all summer. Uh, I didn't want anything that was going to be constrictive on my body when it was hot. And I wore this uh, on a trip and I'm getting my coffee in the morning and I get in the elevator and this woman next to me says, your dress is beautiful. And I say, thank you. And I text Whitney and I said, <laughs> someone told me my dress is pretty. And she says, you have to tell them you made it. So the very next person was five minutes later and they said, your dress is beautiful. I said, thanks. I made it. And it has pockets. <laughs> And uh, I just rode that high the whole day. Yeah. So I am thrilled with how this dress turned out. It has been something I've grabbed a hundred times. Um, it get, it's Unfortunately, it's in the wash more than I can wear it because I, I wear it and then I wash it and I wear it and I wash it and it's just worn in so beautifully. Um, and highly. it's a cotton lawn. It's a cotton lawn. So it's a beautiful um, fabric to do that. With. Yeah, it is so wonderful. Mm -hmm. I let it air dry too, just yeah. because I don't want it to lose its vibrancy uh, and shape. Yeah. So then this was also the first time you used a serger. Oh yeah. This yeah. was the first time I used a serger and we're not going to yeah. show you the part where I messed up, but you were learning. I had one of those moments of, Oh my gosh, I've cut the fabric. Uh, but thank goodness my wonderful teacher stepped in and said, not a big deal. It's on the backside. <laughs> just kept on going. We've all been there. Anyone that's used a serger, you have at some point cut a hole in fabric. You did not mean to cut the hole in. And you guys know what that feels like. You're yes. really just like, yes. and you're like, I've just ruined something. Mm -hmm. And it was on the very last step. And you didn't. I didn't. No. I worn it. And those mm -hmm. people didn't even know. No. They were too much in the pockets. Yeah. <laughs> I will say the one thing that's challenged to me on this is sleeves. I am still not really confident with sleeves. Sleeves are hard because I think I overthink it. Mm. Um, Whitney just says, oh, you know, pinch it here, pinch it here, pin it here and just go. And I'm like, but it's in three dimensions. <laughs> uh, so I I'm still working on sleeves. I'm still working on sleeves. So I finished that one in June and then I had this second fabric from my friends who brought it back from India for me. And it was hot in July here. Mm -hmm. And I had was influenced by a video on the internet that said, you know, the top 10 Capiton fabrics or patterns to use. And I saw the Charlie Capiton from Closet Core. Yeah. And I was like, that's what this is going to be. It doesn't look too hard. Uh, I don't have to worry about putting a sleeve in. <laughs> uh, so I got it all printed out and I started working together. Now this one for me introduced a new little design feature and it's tough to see because the fabric is kind of busy, but there's a inset panel right here at the front where the fabric gathers and it was a little fiddly to get that set in there the right way and finish it off. I would say that was the most challenging thing about this dress. This dress, and you guys can't see it here on this mannequin, but it is full length on me with a side slit. We'll do a twirl. Mm -hmm. Yep. Um, and I love it too. I, uh, it all, and by the way, it also has pockets. <laughs> of course. <laughs> Pockets are important, right? Um, and I have worn both of these all the time. Um, my family does kind of tease me that these are my daytime pajamas, but I'm in for it. Listen, it's hot. I don't want things so constricted. Hot. And I feel comfortable and I feel put together when I wear, walk out the door wearing these. So I feel great in both of these dresses. And I'm really pretty proud of myself. You absolutely should be. Absolutely. So now, now are these form-fitting? No. Are these tailored? No. But I did it, and I am really excited about having these pieces in my wardrobe. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, yay for me. Yay, yeah. And then, to top it off, I was like, okay, uh, so you know about the Precious Fabric Challenge, everyone, right? And one of our sponsors is Ready to Sew, and they are an online pattern company from France. Um, they offer PDF patterns, and I believe they also offer printed patterns. I'm not 100% sure. But I was looking through their catalog after they generously donated a gift, and I saw these pants. These are the Fen Wrap pants on their website. And I thought to myself, those would be the perfect pants to wear for a cooler evening when I go to concerts. Um, 
They are really roomy mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and they're super flowy and comfortable. My only concern about wearing them to a concert is that there's a lot of fabric up here and you have to do a fair amount of unwrapping. <laughs> and we all know what public restrooms are like, right? So I wanted to make sure that this was going to be okay. And we made it work. I am thrilled with how these turned out. Um, the only thing, they, it doesn't have pockets. Yeah. So if, yeah. Uh, ready to sew if you're out there. Pockets would have been a great addition to here. I don't I'm know not, how they would have done it, though, because the way this nature of the wrap. No, I, I agree. Well, yeah. I mean, there's enough fabric here to fit two of me in this in this pattern. Because when you unwrap it, I have this much on the side. Uh -huh. So it does have a little bit of an air of scrub pants if you are in the medical uh, profession. <laughs> but that's okay. I love them. I can't wait to wear them. to. Sh I wear them to concerts. And I wear them just out for fun. Mm -hmm. um, and I'm really impressed with these. So the fabric came from University of Sewing. It's a linen, uh, I think a Robert Kaufman linen. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And uh, they have this color still on their website if you want to go color. grab this beautiful color. Yeah. So I made pants. You guys, this is incredible. I have made two dresses. I have made pants. And I most importantly have gotten out from behind the computer screen and sewed with Whitney. And that's been the best part is sewing with a friend. She's yes. on one machine. And I'm on the other, and we're both zipping things along until one of us goes, oh. <laughs> and then we tear it apart, and we keep on sewing. So that's been really the best part of this is absolutely, sewing with you. Absolutely, absolutely. Yes. Sewing in tandem is so fun. If you've got a friend that lives close by, I highly recommend. Absolutely. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. So that has been what has, I wanted to share my precious fabric, and... Here's the best part. I'm so glad you guys have keep on watching here. Um, because we've been doing this, and I'm kind of a return to sewer, um, a return to garment sewing person, we decided to create a class for people like me. So yeah. you can have Whitney um, holding your hand the same way. So right now, this week, we're working on an introduction to garment sewing class. Not just this week, but... Yeah. <laughs> For the next few weeks. <laughs> We're working on an introduction to garment sewing class so that that way if you are a craft sewist like I was and you wanted to learn to, to do some of the more intricate things of garments, Whitney will be right there with you. Or if you have a friend who uh, has, keeps on passing you gar uh, fabric and says, can you make this for me? You can pass this video right back to your friend <laughs> and say, hey friend, I've got the perfect teacher for you. Or if you're a quilter too, you let quilters know your way around sewing machines. You guys can just uh, pick this up right away, mm -hmm. uh, and it's going to be second nature to you because you don't need to learn about machines. Mm -hmm. So this is going to be a really great course. We're looking at it coming at you November-ish by the time we get done putting all the finishing touches on it, mm -hmm. and we're so excited. Yeah. Yeah. Very excited. So I want to say thanks to everybody who has already liked this and made me feel better. <laughs> um, and uh, thank you all for participating in following all the vloggers through the Precious Fabric Challenge. Mm -hmm. They have enjoyed your love, your comments, your subscribes. And keep on following because now people are getting their garments made. Yeah. And it's looking good out there. Yeah. Yeah. Take a look at that hashtag, too. I mean, I just every day I open up Instagram and I'm blown away by the new garments that keep popping up. Um, I feel like it's going to get more and more as we go throughout the month, you know, now as we're starting oh, yeah. um, to get in the second half of the month. So good stuff. Yeah. yeah. So I, that's it for us today. Do um, you have any final words you want to say? No final words of wisdom? No. Um, just, it's just fabric. It is just fabric. And so we encourage you, no matter your level of sewing, get that precious fabric out and let's get it out of our stashes and onto our bodies. Thanks, guys. Have a great rest of your week. Bye. Bye.